Welcome to Crayola's Channels. I am Lynn Lilly with Craft Box Girls and Craft Box Kids. And guess what? The school year is almost over. Where has this year gone? I don't know, but time is flying. But that means end of the year. And we know that our kids' teachers have survived a crazy year. They have nurtured and cared and taught our crazy children. <laughs> Just kidding. Our sweet children all year long. So now it's time to show our appreciation. Whether it's an end of the school year gift or it's teacher appreciation, make something or buy something great for the teacher. So today I have two ideas for projects that parents you can work on with your kiddos and then you can always add a little something special. Maybe a gift card or a sweet treat that they like. All right, so for our first one, we are gonna be making really cute little pouches. These can be makeup pouches, they could be pencil pouches, you could throw them in your bag. Um, and we're gonna make this pouch and our inspiration is going to be a sheet of notebook paper. And we're gonna be using the Crayola fabric fine line markers. A lot of people don't know that Crayola actually has fabric markers and these are awesome. So to do everything like we're going to do today, like writing on these little canvas tote bags, you can also write on t-shirts. I know that my kids love writing on fabric. Well, yeah, they can make their own t-shirts with fabric markers and it withstands the washing machine. So to get started, we're going to look at our piece of notebook paper. So it's a traditional lined sheet of notebook paper. We're going to use a ruler. And then I've got some of my fabric markers here in a cup. And I like to stand my fabric markers up, just making sure that my ink is all flowing downward toward the tip of the marker. So I always do that a couple minutes before I'm about ready to use them. Now, we're gonna start with that red line that we see here on the side. And you could use red or you could use pink. And I always have a little extra piece of paper handy to test out my markers before I get started. So you can use your ruler if you want to measure an exact amount. So we'll do about an inch over, okay? And then we're going to use our ruler as our guideline for a straight line. And we're going to run our marker straight up there. Look at how vibrant these markers are. I love them. Remember, you could throw this in the wash and they will still look this good. All right, then we're going to use our blue, okay? And we're gonna take our ruler. We're gonna leave a wider spot at the top like we see on this one. And I'm just gonna eyeball it. I don't need to measure it, but I wanna leave enough room so that I can write the teacher's name there. And we'll go straight across. And I'm not applying as much pressure because I want these lines to look light like they do on that one. Now, we're gonna do our lines all the way down. If you want, you can use your ruler, you can measure, and if you wanna do exact, um, or you can just use your ruler and estimate and just use that marker to go all the way down the bag. So, and again, I'm not applying a lot of pressure because they want mine to look light. You can go back over them if you do want them to be a little bit darker, but I like the look of it being a little bit faded. And you can choose however many lines you want. Go all the way down though to the bottom of the notebook paper. And you can leave, if you'd like, you can leave a larger spot open at the bottom. All right, now we're gonna take our black, okay? And again, I always just test it out. And we're gonna take the black and we're gonna make those little holes that we see. So we've got those three holes in our paper. So we're gonna do one right up there and then I'll estimate about halfway down the page. I'll do another one and then one at the bottom. Then while I have my black out, I'm gonna make some bullets. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll go seven, almost down to the bottom. So those are gonna be bullets so that we can make a bulleted list about all the amazing things about the teacher, okay? So let's go with our, let's do pink. Okay, and so for this teacher, we'll do Mrs. Smith. Okay, and your kids can write their teacher's name. And then if you wanna have some fun, you could always do like little polka dots. I don't know, but I always have loved little polka dot letters um, at the ends of my letters. I always think it just looks extra cute. And we're doing this on a little um, canvas makeup bag, but you can also do this on a canvas tote, and you can get these totes at your craft store as well. 
Um, so when you're there to your craft store to pick up your Crayola supplies, you can pick up these blanks at almost any craft store. And they're very inexpensive and usually come in packs of like two or three. All right, so we've got Mrs. Smith, and then we'll come back and we can choose, maybe we'll do green, and we can write all the things, or wait, actually let's do purple. Um, we're going to write all the things about our teacher. So, is Mrs. Smith kind? So we'll write all the things. She's smart, and we can go all the way down this list. Um, maybe she is sweet. And just like that, we have our very own cute little pouch to give our teacher. Now, don't forget, it's a pouch, so that means you can fill it with things. Maybe you put a gift card in there, or you put a sweet treat, or you stock it with craft or school supplies for their classroom next year. And you can do different sizes. So you can see I've got a larger one here for Mrs. Medley, which is one of my daughter's pre-K teachers. Um, but how cute, different sizes. You could give them a set or do either or. All right, that was project number one. Our second project I really like is the kids can pretty much do the entire part of this product project. So. When you head to the craft store to get supplies, you also want to pick up a frame. And now this isn't just any frame, this is a shadow box frame. So they come in black and white. You see I've got a white one here, so spoiler alert, that's the project we're making. But the fun part about these is that they have a depth in them, right? So you can put things in them. It doesn't have to just be a flat picture. And you've got this little guy that inserts in there to help regulate the space. So you can take that in or out. But we're gonna make a cute shadow box frame that has the teacher's name. So they can put this in their classroom next year. Now, what you wanna do is take the back of your frame and trace it on a piece of cardstock. So this is a nine by nine frame. So I traced my, um, piece on there and cut it out. And we're gonna work as that is gonna be our base. Then you're gonna need crayons. So for a nine by nine frame, you need about 26 crayons, okay? So um, if you wanna start with a big box like I have here and you can pull them out, you can decide to do um, different shades. So we kind of went casually by the Roy G. Biv um, and you can decide how you want them to line up or if your teacher's got favorite colors, you can maybe just do all blues or all purples, but we're gonna do an assortment. So we wanna start with our liquid glue and we're gonna take each one of our crayons and you can see even this could be recycled crayons. I use this crayon for another craft project and I've got crayons that are unused, but you could also have used crayons in here too. Now we wanna line them up leaving a little space at the bottom and just a small little space at the edge because remember it's got to go in the frame all right so we glue these all the way along now we can individually put glue on each crayon or if you're impatient like me sometimes you can do three lines of glue just like that all the way across your page and then just take your crayons and line them up and you wanna make sure that you line up the bottoms. And this way you can easily just set them in. Now, I chose crayons. You could also do this with um, colored pencils. You could do it with markers as well. Um, and the larger the frame, obviously the more you're going to need, or you could do a smaller frame. Um, there are shadow box frames in all different sizes, okay? Um, this could be a fun thing. Your child could ask their teacher what their favorite colors are and you could go off of that. Um, and we're gonna leave this part blank because we're gonna do something on the outside of the glass, okay? And we get them all lined up and then we're gonna wanna let them dry on here before we put them in the frame because we don't want them to move before we put them in the frame, right? We want them to dry nice in this little order. And if you have any problems, with them lining up or they're off. You still have got a few minutes of work time with your liquid glue until it dries. So you can kind of scoot them around as needed. All right. And then for our very last one, I need just a little bit more glue. So we'll put that right there. Ta-da. Okay. And then if you want to get all your Crayola logos, I like my things to be perfect. So you can kind of adjust them as needed, but it doesn't have to be perfect. But how pretty does that look already? Okay. So we're gonna let that dry right there. And then we're gonna put letters 
of our teacher's name with these wooden letters. You can get these at the craft store. They're raw wood letters, fairly inexpensive. So I've got Mrs. Holmes. Now I had a Mrs. Holmes and I liked it because I had her in college and it reminded me of home. Um, every time I said her name and she was such a sweet, sweet teacher. So we take our letters and we're going to use regular markers, right? So your classic Crayola markers, okay? They will work on here. And I'm gonna start with red and pink. So we'll start with the first one of pink and I'm gonna follow the same color order that I did on my crayons. So again, you can follow and go with the same colors of how you lined up your crayons or you can do um, all one color. Let your kids get creative with it. But you can see how nicely these markers work on the wood. Look, it absorbs it. You don't have to paint it, which is why I like using markers on wood letters, especially with kiddos, because paint, you know, can always be messy with the kids. And especially if you're using washables, they'll come off their hands when they're done, off their clothes. That's the best part about everything. Almost everything Crayola, all that washable stuff that they had, it is a lifesaver around our house, especially with my daughter, Bella, who is two, who's really starting to get into crafting and coloring, Woo! and she loves markers. Okay, so you wanna color all of your letters and then you're gonna take your glass frame, and for time's sake, I'm gonna show you one that's done, but kind of give you an idea what you're gonna do. So your frame, you're gonna put your crayons in there, and then as you see that negative space, I'm gonna let my glass fall just so you guys can see. So let me scoot this in, we got a little bit of a glare here. Let's scoot this down. The glare from my overhead lights. Okay, so see like that, still a little glare, but what you're going to do then, there we go. What you're gonna do is you're gonna glue your letters directly on the glass, okay? And when you're done, it looks like this. How cute is that? All right, so let me show you on top down. So all we did was we used our liquid glue and we glued our letters directly to the glass. It dried super quick. I think it was like 10 minutes and I could stand it up and they weren't moving. So you have this super cute frame that you can give to your teacher. They can put it in their classroom next year and they'll remember your child forever. Handmade gifts. I know as a mom, I love handmade gifts and I know that teachers do too. And then maybe you pair this with a sweet treat or a gift card or something fun because you know, our teachers deserve a little extra at the end of the year. All right, two projects to show teachers how much we love and appreciate everything that they have done for our children this year. So um, we started with our little canvas bags and we used our fabric markers. So they are washable, right? Fun little thing that you can fill with little fun things for the teacher. And then we did our name sign. All right, that's it for today's projects. I hope you love them. Remember, you can get all the Crayola supplies that I use today at your local craft store. And you can always head to Crayola.com slash crafts for more great ideas. And don't forget to follow me over at Craftbox Girls and at Craftbox Kids. I've got tons of projects that I'm sure you will love. And I'll be back in a few more weeks with another fun project. Bye, friends.